Today, some, we learn the summary of Beer in Yenei Chalzo, Dav Peizayim, page 87 of uh, Lekutei Torah, Sefer Bamidbar. So it starts with uh, s- some of the same questions as the Maimur, uh, that the Apostle implies that everyone has to be involved in this war against Midian, when actually it was only a small percentage of the Jewish people were actually the soldiers here. So why, why does it imply that everyone should be involved? So to understand this, let's first contrast the seven nations who had to be uh, fought and battled and, and destroyed versus Midian. The seven nations represent the seven Midas, whereas Midian uh, represents a deeper problem. And uh, therefore, everyone, as we'll see, everyone has to be involved. Now, uh, holiness is about humility, self nullification one and oneness. And therefore, uh, with uh, Hashem, so Hashem's light is, is just uh, purely, that there's not, nothing but Hashem. That's the whole idea. Independence and separation is the opposite of uh, godliness. Uh, and uh, so as Hashem's light uh, descends through each world, so the more pristine light, which is more one with Hashem, can, is able to stay at a high world. And then the lower light goes, descends down to a lower world, and ultimately, uh, the, when it becomes more uh, a bit more divided and, and more independent, less one with Hashem, so then also each uh, sphera uh, is focused on its message rather than uh, all part of the uh, one thing, all part of godliness. Um, and therefore, in the world of uh, Tehu, uh, there's a division, and each sphere is something separate for itself. That's in the world of Tzayel, the world of chaos, whereas in the world of Tikkun, of rectification, where everything comes together, so there uh, all the spheres work together, and they're, they're linked rather than just in a line, one on top of the other. Now, the difference between Tzayel and Tikkun is that uh, both in terms of the Ur, that the Ur, the light, is... Uh, is uh, uh, inclusive light, a unifying light, uh, uh, more broad, uh, um, and uh, also that the kalium, uh, the containers, that in, in uh, Toho there's uh, um, too much light, not enough containers, whereas in Tikkun, the light is uh, balanced and there's a, a, lo- a lot of containers so that the, the light is more measured and the containers are greater and therefore they're able to uh, hold the light. It says in Zaya that uh, it, it describes it as uh, facing face-to-face or not facing each other. So in Tikkun, it, it, there is facing uh, one another uh, because of the, the uh, focus on uh, unity and inclusion, whereas it, in, t- in uh, Toyo, so each sphere says, I am the only path, and therefore there's no, uh, there's no inclusion. And uh, das is, is, which means realization, to, to, to take an idea personally, uh, is a point where uh, there's, a, which creates unity, it creates, uni- uh, it, it, uh, creates uh, unity uh, among the uh, midas. And also uh, through internalizing, it means that the, the uh, idea and the message, this, the, 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 uh, feeling is one with the one with the person okay base in a person there's a person has chachma which is the spark of an idea before that he just was in a state of chaos and confusion and then he has a spark of an idea that's just one point then bino is the development of the idea das is what brings together chachma and bino the spark of the creation together with the development and it's brought together by das so therefore it's a unifier uh das also uh unifies the uh, emotional attributes and uh and this is also something that terror does terror um is is also a unifier and creates a peace both in in the upper realms and the lower realms meaning both the uh, between Chachma and Bina, uh, and also between the emotions. Because if you don't have 
uh, peace and unity between the emotions and then kindness is pure kindness without any limits or in any uh, rational way uh, even when it's undeserving and, and inappropriate even whereas severity is pure severity without any kindness and therefore the punishments are not to help and to fix but they're just to to smash whereas in tikkun the the punishments also have an aspect of kindness they're trying to help the person and uh, also Hashem, Hashem is all about oneness, Hashem Echad, and in particular Hashem's name Yudke Vavke is, is about oneness. And uh, then over in, in uh, Gimel, he, he continues that, uh, that uh, when the mind guides the heart, Lev, so that creates uh, oneness, and um, Moshe, because Moshe is about oneness and uh, Hashem is about oneness, therefore, the, therefore Moshe had to be around for this war against Midian. Midian is the ultimate of division and separation, and therefore the exile uh, to fix the problem of sinas chinam, of baseless hatred, is so long after the second base of Migdash, whereas the exile after the first base of Migdash, which uh, was to uh, fix up severe Averis, is a lot shorter because there it was just specific Averis, whereas here, where it's baseless hatred, that is the source of all other problems. That's the Midian, which is beyond, more, severe, more problematic and worse than the seven nations. And uh, what, what we have to do is, uh, is, uh, is uh, be involved in this, in, in fighting against baseless hatred. And this is something that every year has to be involved in.